Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Chopbox Studios. Today, we got some more primal action. You know the deal. We're back into some more primal. We got episode four now because that just got released. And man, it's getting crazy. This man got a sword upgrade. He found the village. He found his woman. Now they're escaping. The dinosaur was left in the back. So I don't know if she's still over there or fighting someone. But we left off with growls in the woods. So I don't know if people are coming toward him or if they're fighting Fang or not. I have no idea. I'm ready to get into this so it's not gonna be a long intro you already know the deal you know the vibe and if you guys are new make sure you leave a like great comment subscribe below stay notified for more primal action and with that said let's jump in to this episode oh okay so people were coming toward the village so they were on a hunt or something and they don't have weapons so this is gonna be yikes but this guy does man he looking like conan for real why would you take the freaking... I don't know how they tame bears, though. Like, jeez. That's definitely the leader. Don't bow! What are you, crazy? Bro, come on, bro. Y'all are so baby. Like, yeah, I know there's bears, but don't give up that easy. He's like, he he ain't having that. Get the dinosaur out here. Get Fang out here, because they, they obviously didn't see her. He saw the sword. He's mad. Man, shut up. Oh, why y'all so hostile for no reason? Oh, it's gonna charge? Wait, what? This man, he ain't having it. He ready for the smoke. Let's go. Get Fang up in here. Oh, it'd be so sick if, they, if she comes from the woods, like, right there and just... Wow. Uh, she, they smell something. They smell something. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh! You don't know, baby. He brought a dinosaur with him, and you haven't seen those. It's over. Oh, I like how they're shadowing her in. He's like, oh, shoot, what's going on? Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Come on, baby! Y'all need to get weapons to fight, too. We got a whole army here. We could do this. <laughs> He's like, yeah. oh, no! No! Why you have to kill their moment? Like, oh, I'm about to say. Watch out! Oh, god damn, bro! That guy is done! So much for their leader. Oh, god damn. Come on. Get these clowns. Conan style. Oh, my God. He just cleaved his head. Let's go. I'm sorry I'm getting too hype. I love this show. It's so sick. Oh, get them out. Oh, my God, bro. Just split them apart. Oh, he tackled him off the bear. Oh, damn. Yo, he is so crazy, bro. I love my boy Skier, yo. He's so freaking sick. Oh, he, she's gonna be like, oh no, he's a murderer. Bro, shut up. Like, don't even. Don't be scared of him. He's saving your life. Like, what the f- Whoa, god damn. He ain't playing, bro. He's going crazy with that sword. Damn. Get this fool. Let's go. Bro, he's taking an army out by himself. Fang! Oh, no! Man. Oh, no. Come on. They're just freaking... They're surrounding her. He ain't even there, is he? That was dirty. Yo, he ain't playing, bro. Yeah, you're done, bro. You, he ain't playing with you. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Yes! Yeet that man into the tree like that? Uh-oh. No! Bro, Spear, come over here. You gotta help her. Oh, my God. She's riddled with spears and axes and everything, man. These cowards, bro. Grab that axe right there. What are y'all doing? 
What are they doing? Grab the axes! Oh my god, these are the worst freaking slave prisoner people that I've ever seen in my life. Uh oh, uh oh, no. Here we go, the rest of the village is coming out now. This is why we need the freaking slaves to have weapons. We don't have enough backup. They're like, what the f is that? Yo, he coming in with the bear just stabbing it. How's it not? Use the pointy end and impale it in the free. Yes. This is why I like this show. They just listen to me. They do everything I want it to do. Big mama. <laughs> That's what you get. You want to freaking slave people away and stuff for what? I don't like that lady's look though. She looks like she's going to be a problem. Oh my God. Yo, he going crazy on these guys. I don't like her. I already hate how she looks, bro, because she's she's going to be a problem. These cowards, man. You wouldn't have the problem if you would have just grabbed the axe that was on the wall. But you're just like, I'm too scared. I, I just can't do it. I'm so scared. What the hell is she doing? Is she doing some gymnastics over here? I'm sorry if dogs barking over there. Like, they're not my dogs. They always come out at the wrong time. Yes! Grab the spears! Grab them! There's freaking five of them! At least five of you can have spears! Like, come on! This, this is what happens when you don't fight with your freaking people that are trying to free you. Like, come on now. Look at this. Now they're just freaking beating the crap out of Fang. That's not freaking fair. And they're all booking it! Oh my god! I don't like them! I'm sorry! I'm too invested in this episode, man. And I don't like that they're freaking running away. The whole village is on them. Like, why would they run? Oh my God, bro. Man, get that stupid kid out of here. Man. It don't matter. They're trying to kill you, bro. You have to. This dark. I'd be freaking oof, man. Look at this. And then the, the, the freaking slaves leave them to get murdered. Like, why? Look at this. Look at this. Come on! Bam! Right in the freaking mouth! Let's go! Grab that axe now! Yes! Thank you, God, decapitate him. Bam! Oh, God damn, that was sick. Let's go, baby. That's what I want to see more. No, don't drop it. What are you doing? Yes, thank you. This kid, oh my God, I hate this kid. I hate this kid. Someone freaking impale this kid. I'm sorry, but it's gotta happen. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, damn, three in one swing. This kid, man, I don't like him. Throw it, yes, thank you. Thank you, freaking bum ass kid. Come on, oh my God, that would hurt like a bitch. Let's go, there we go. Don't need no slaves to help us, get out of here. I don't like this girl though. She's gonna definitely, the way she walking in, you know she's gonna do some crap, bruh. With a big ol' axe too. You already know she's gonna do something. Don't do it, Fang! Not right now! See what I mean? What is that? Bruh. Bruh! Bruh! Come on! Thank you! Jesus, screw you! Throw her de Yes! Beat her to death, man! Jeez! Done! Done! Keep going! Just keep going with that girl! Oh my god! He going crazy! Yeah, that's right! Get out of here. They don't even know what's coming! Their eyes are still open! Hey, man! Get this kid! Get this kid! Who cares? Yeah, knock him out! Like, what are you doing, bruh? Shut up. <laughs> this kid, bro. 
He needs to stop. He needs to stop. That's what happens. That's what happens. Yeah, hey, that's what happens, man. Get him! Yes! And there's still more. There's still more. Still more. He's like, let's get out of here. Hey, man, that's badass. Oh, what is this, though? What is this all about? Okay. You still want to fight, bro? Like, stop it. Stop it. You got demolished. Face it. Jeez, man. Oh, God. Never mind. Man, just finish them all off and then leave. That's what I would do. There's only There was only, like, six of them. Hey, he caught that. Let's go. How are there still that many of them? They were all getting bought. They bought like 20 to 30 of them. How is there still that many? That's just not realistic. There was not that many. Let's be real. Jeez, man. See, bro, you should have just stopped. Like these, these villagers, they don't understand that they are getting bodied and they just don't want to quit. I'm sorry I'm talking so much. Oh my God, this episode is insane. Oh my God. Yo. They don't care. They're looking evil as hell right now. Oh my god. Hey, man. It had to happen. They want to keep fighting. Take the loss, bro. Like, tch. damn, man. They're going crazy on them. Yo, they're going insane. Oh my god. They bodied them all, bro. No, nah, there ain't no way that this there is no way that a fleet shows up with more prisoners. You see what I mean, bro? They, they keep taking prisoners. I mean, like, you kind of deserve it. No remorse. I don't care. If only they knew their village is. This guy looks like he's probably the boss, I guess. I thought like three people were the boss in this whole entire freaking episode. <laughs> There's already blood on the freaking deck and st <laughs> Yeah. Hey man. Again, you wanna be taking slaves. That's what happens. Damn man, their thing is riddled with blood all over. Ooh, they came down. That means they escaped. Good, good, good. I like that. Oh, they took a bow. <laughs> Big brain, baby. Nice. Very nice. Hey. Hey, man. Woo! Damn, my guy. He bodied the whole village, bro. Damn, bro. Oh, my God, bro. I don't blame them, though. They didn't want to stop fighting. Sorry. Cause look at this, bro. You get it's karma, bro. It's simple karma. You 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 abduct a bunch of people and you're still doing it, and you take them in as prisoners and lock them up and treat them like crap, and you expect no one to freaking kill you for that. Like, come on now. And then when someone does arrive, you guys want to fight back even though you're getting slaughtered. Like, you should have just if you know you're losing, you should have just stayed silent and be like, all right, we'll take the loss. You can leave, have your prisoners, and live another day. But no. You want to keep fighting. That's what happened, man. Sorry. So I guess the lady that, that fought and then got bodied, that um, did the most damage to, uh, that's his wife. Rika? Hmm. Wait till you see her. She got freaking... Hey man, she wanted to challenge a dinosaur. Oh, and then they're her brother, I guess you could say. He might 
He might still be alive. I don't know. He might just have a concussion because he did hit a rock, but he didn't. Didn't look like he. I don't know. I could be wrong. But hey, he was in the fight. He shouldn't have been. This is gonna be like this is setting up for like a, a freaking like a big boss fight in the end. Like this guy's gonna like do anything he can to find him. Like they're gonna be nemesis together. I could already see it happening. Seal it off, yeah. What about these guys? Yeah, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna kill him now or something? Be like, it's all your fault! Free him? Free him or kill him? Let's see. What are they gonna do? I'm not gonna say anything yet until they escape. Okay. If they escape... That's turning over a new leaf, which they should have done way before their freaking village got slaughtered. Like, come on. Now they see, they probably realize, okay, maybe we shouldn't be slaving people away because it costs us a lot of things. It could potentially cause us our next village or whatever, like, you know. I like the symbolism, though, because I am of this ancestry, and I do practice the religion still of this ancestry. So it's not like I, I hate the razor or anything like that and i like the symbolism that they're doing here with the send off you know because that's usually what they'd be doing can't do it these days as much anymore but yeah. this freaking gnat from this earlier video it just doesn't want to leave me alone came in for my freaking ac she's like i'll do it I like that symbolism. I won't lie. I do like that. Now he's got the, the vengeance in his eyes. He's like, I have to get vengeance now. Man, got the freaking battle helmet. Bruh. You're going to send your own daughter after, or after them? Oh, I'm about to say... They're like, we're going to battle. I don't know, man. Like, you still want to freaking fight them after they decimated your village? I don't know, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, maybe you should just reconsider after all this happens. Maybe you should just, like, kind of say maybe we should not fuck with people that are slaves or anything like that all right that was the episode that wasn't too bad at all actually that was probably the best episode this season in my opinion a lot a lot of action a lot of gore a lot of blood a lot of everything that i wanted to see and this man he decimated not even just destroyed just decimated this whole village on his own freaking terms bro he did it himself with only his dinosaur just them two and they freaking bodied this because obviously in the nordic region or in the north region they didn't have too many dinosaurs especially tyrannosaurs and stuff like that so they probably shit their pants when they saw they're like oh crap this guy got a freaking dinosaur they didn't even know what it was that thing bodied them and then this man ate like nine arrows and freaking stabs and all this kind of stuff and he still made it out unscathed and for a moment obviously he realized after killing that child i guess you could say he realized oh crap i'm killing people that are living their own life but at the same time they're taking slaves in which is what i'm thinking but then they wanted to keep fighting them and didn't want to stop because they were about to leave but they didn't let them leave and so he came back he's like you know what you don't want to let me leave you want to keep shooting me with arrows i'm coming back i'm gonna just destroy the whole entire village because people will probably say that i'm an asshole or i'm just not considerate because of the fact that i believe in karma and the thing is like i said if you're a tribe that just prides themselves on taking people real life human beings that are just like you you take them you lock them away you give you don't give them food or anything and you treat them like slaves and they're all the same like that already doing that you kind of have bad karma coming your way so obviously someone's going to be bound to go and freaking rise up against you after doing all that especially if people know like if you're just known for taking people as slaves obviously people are going to rise up against you eventually so you should you yourself should be prepared for that secondly like i said if you're also a mother and yes you're fighting for your village and stuff 
wouldn't you want your son or little child or kid to be somewhere safe either in a house or like in the woods somewhere or get on a boat and leave or something like wouldn't you want that to happen why would you send your kid into battle as well just for them to die and then also like you're challenging a tyrannosaur as a human being like there's a lot of things that contradicted like reality okay you kind of you gotta have some common sense when you're looking at these kind of things and that's the way i perceive these shows is by common sense and me personally like if you're just doing that and you don't want to stop and take the loss it's gonna happen you're all gonna die you're gonna just be done and this guy now at the end wants to go after him which i understand why he wants to go after him because anger you know all that but shouldn't you look back and say my village got decimated we don't know who it is everybody's dead and i just want to go after this random guy that i don't even know and he killed my whole village and now you're just angry you want to go kill him that's not going to solve your problem you should just take the loss be like you know what it is what it is we kind of asked for it because we were taking prisoners like i said they had him on their boat and that's what you get so take the loss take the lesson go start anew and don't kill yourself over some dumb crap so i may be an asshole i may be inconsiderate but the facts are facts and if you were doing that that's kind of what you deserve so it is what it is and that's my opinion on it now i will say i do understand their perspective they were living a normal life they have to defend their home because it's their only home and of course if you were getting invaded in your own house, you'd do anything to freaking stop the invader, right? Because as far as you know, it's an intruder in your household. You don't know who they are. You don't know what their intentions are. Obviously, you're going to defend it. I get that standpoint. I do. But at the same time, you did something bad. So karma's not on your side for that reason. And that's what I'm trying to explain. And I did realize that at the end there, they let the, the prisoners go. They let them free. So maybe they're turning over a new leaf in that sense. But they still want to kill my man Spear. So... There's a couple things, there's contradictions. Yes, I know they're a little nicer now. They realize, okay, maybe we shouldn't be taking people and treating them like slaves. So maybe they got that through their head, but they still want to kill people. It's just a lot of contradictions going on here and there. But overall, I did like the episode. I think for an episode as a whole, definitely a 10 out of 10. Like I said, the best episode this season. I definitely thoroughly enjoyed that. And I can't wait to react to the next episode next week. It's going to be freaking fire. I don't know what they're going to do now. This man's got his girl. He's got the dinosaur. If I were him, especially on a boat, I go right back to where I came from and that's it like just be done with it so like I said 10 out of 10 if you guys are rated differently you want to see some more primal action make sure you leave a like great comment subscribe below stay notified for more primal in the future and with that said I will see you guys in the next episode peace